everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today I want to talk about getting a straight horizon in Lightroom. So you ever out there, you've got your camera, you think that you're straight, you get back into your, uh, into your home or your studio or wherever you're working, your workplace, whatever, import your images, you find that your horizons are tilted a little bit, they're not quite straight, you've got a little bit of an angle going on, or maybe you're on a tripod that you thought was level but it wasn't so you ended up with a picture you know, where you were a little bit crooked. Well, in Lightroom and Photoshop both, there are a number of ways to fix those. I'm going to walk you through how I do it today, show you a very quick and precise tip in Photoshop how to do it, just like that, and show you the couple of ways in Lightroom. So join me, Straightening Horizons, in Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, so I brought up an image here. One example image of, that I shot in San Francisco, the horizon's not quite straight. When you look at it, if, it's, if you're not somebody that looks at the horizon, looks for straight horizons, it's not really gonna bug you. But this little bit that this thing is off bugs me like crazy. So I'm gonna walk you through first in Lightroom how to fix it. Then I have the same image open in Photoshop and I'm gonna walk you through one quick way that I recommend to straighten horizons in Photoshop without doing anything else. I'm not going to show you the free transform and rotate tool, any of that. I'm going to show you a very precise way in Photoshop to do it, probably the best way that you can do it. So in Lightroom previously, you would use the crop tool, and in the crop tool you'd go to the corners and you would grab it and rotate, and it would you could go until you saw a straight horizon and then you would let go and finish your crop. Um, with Lightroom CC, and I believe from Lightroom 5 on, it might have been, um, yeah, I believe from Lightroom 5 on that, that it had this, a couple of different ways to do this. So if I go into the crop tool now, so this is for Lightroom CC, I press R to get into the crop tool, and you can see right here, I've got this angle, so I can, I can um, take this right and I can change this. Now one thing that's cool on, on Lightroom, this is very similar to the way that I'm gonna show you in Photoshop, is that right here with this angle, so I've actually made the crop, the, the tilt here a lot more extreme, right? So the left hand is lower than the right. I can grab this angle, I can draw it along here, and then it just takes that number, and then it just rotates it down so that that angle is now at zero. So when I draw that angle, it's measured in a certain amount of degrees, it zeroes that out and it straightens the horizon. That's the best way to do it. It's the best way in Photoshop, which I'm gonna jump in there and show you. So let's undo that. Let's get this image back open. We're in crop. We could also hit auto here. So if we hit auto, it's going to analyze the image and look for what it thinks is the horizon, and it's gonna straighten that out. Now an image like this can mess it up because I have these long leading lines from the Bay Bridge that, is, uh, that are going in there. I've got vertical lines going, and then I've got you know, some different things going on. There's some striations in the water that might catch it. So auto, auto usually works, not always. And I, have, I have this really wide image of uh, Sutro Baths it was off a little bit, and when I hit auto, it made it about 20 degrees off. Not useful at all. So let's get out of this. Our horizon is still tilted. So I can come down here to lens corrections, right here under the lens corrections tab. And if I click on basic, you've got enable profile corrections. So that is so that it, it can look at the profile of your lens that you were using and apply uh, some algorithm to it so they can get rid of corner vignetting. If you have some fisheye effect or some pin cushion or keystone effect, it can get rid of that automatically by the profile of the lens. Most of the camera manufacturers are sending in their lenses, not sending in their lenses, but sending in their lens data, or Adobe is measuring them and building profiles for them. But right here, you've got a couple. So you've got something now called upright. So from here, I can say, let me do auto. I wanna go vertical. I wanna go full, which is full level, horizontal, and perspective corrections. So this is going to fix perspective, vertical, and horizontal corrections, or I can just go to level. So if I say level, levels it out, it's pretty good, does a good job. So that's in lens corrections, but in Lightroom really the best way, the best way to do this is to hit R to go into crop, click this angle, if you can see the angle of your horizon, and just draw right along here, whoop, just draw right along the horizon, let go, and then there you go, that's it. We're gonna do something very similar in Photoshop. So that's it. Go into crop, press angle, draw along the line that you want to be straight, and then it's going to level that out to zero. All right, so now let's close down Lightroom and let's go into Photoshop. So we've got the same image open here in Photoshop and you can see the left side is slightly lower than the right side. 
It's not a, it's not a bunch, but it's there. So what you could do in Photoshop is you could go into Transform. Um, so you could go into Transform. I hit Command T on the Mac. That opens up Transform. I could come up here and I could rotate this and get an idea, but we're not gonna do any of that. Okay, so for Photoshop, all that we're going to do is come over here to our ruler tool. So if you see the eyedropper, press and hold down, then you'll see the ruler tool. Then just like in Lightroom, I'm gonna grab with a ruler. I'm just gonna draw a line. So now as I do this, it's gonna give me some information. So I have that line there. So if I come up here, it's gonna tell me the angle, 2.1 degrees, use measurement scale. And all I can do, all that I need to do is just press this straighten layer. And there you go. And now I can press C. That'll bring up the crop. I can come in here and crop this. I've got a nice straight horizon in that image. That quick to fix. So in Photoshop or Lightroom, both ways I recommend it. in Lightroom grabbing that angle, drawing along the skewed angle, then it's going to correct that. Or if you're working in Photoshop, go to the eyedropper, hold it down, select the ruler, draw along there, and then go up and say to straighten that layer. And that's it. That is how you can straighten a crooked horizon or something else in Photoshop or in Lightroom. So quick tip for the day, straightening a horizon in Photoshop and Lightroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching, got a new video coming at you tomorrow. You keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Have an awesome day. Thank you.